Hey, welcome to At Home with Amy Jean. I'm Amy Jean and these are my three crazy children. I am a stay-at-home mom. We homeschool and we're on summer break now and so it's time for me to focus a little bit more outside of the house because most of the time my focus is inside the house and so this area gets away from me rather quickly. <laughs> so there's some daffodil stems in here that have just been hanging out now that the daffodils are long gone and some weeds that have been taking over. So I keep seeing this garden bed from my kitchen window and from even our homeschooling room window and it has been something that I've needed to attend to for a while now and I'm just now finally getting to it. Is there a space in your yard or your home that has been on your to-do list that you have not gotten to? Hopefully this is motivating to you to get some things done. <laughs> I know it helps me to watch other people's videos of the kind of the before and afters and watching things get cleaned and picked up and tidied and hopefully this is motivating to you too. If this content is something that you're enjoying, hopefully you will hit like and subscribe and yeah, I'd love to get to know you in the comment section and if you introduce yourself, I'd love to say hello. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. Aw oh, man, I'm not wearing matching socks. <laughs> Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Daydreamer, kidnap me. Take me back, all the way back to the day. Kids were thrilled. We had a garter snake come sliding by. Take me back, all the way back to the days. Daydreamer, kidnap me. Have me running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. I kept finding worms for the kids and they were just having a blast. <laughs> they gathered them and then put them in the vegetable garden, which worms are supposed to be good for veggies. So <laughs> that's what I was telling them to do, whether they got them into the vegetable garden or not, that's another story. <laughs> but um, anyways, this garden really didn't take me as long as I expected it to. I don't know why, but I build up a mess like this in my head and think it's gonna be this really hard task, but it really isn't. It, the, the roots came out really easily. I had the right tools to help me out, that little rake, that three-prong rake thing. And for the most part, 
things came up pretty easily and quickly. So I think hopefully in the future, I can get to my other garden beds quickly and easily as well so that my yard can be presentable, but also, you know, just look nice and feel good and I can have the satisfaction of having a clean yard. Do you ever build up a task that seems overwhelming, but it really doesn't take you that long to clean it up and get it done? Tell me in the comments if that's the case for you. If you have things that, that feel overwhelming and big, but it really just, if you get down and do it, it only takes a handful of minutes and then it's done. And then you feel so much better. This is the last part of the garden and then we get to spend the rest of the day playing with the kids pushing them on the swings and doing other things with my life than gardening <laughs> do you love gardening or is it a little bit of a pain in your backside like it is mine <laughs> Today and not tomorrow there's no time to buy. Gotta give today is a good